let's check the university area. Not in the, directly in my university town, but it's a Walmart. We're gonna check this place out. What do we have here? Okay, I see. How's it going today? Good. Oh, and look at that. Arc 7. Well, I'll take that guy. That's a nice one. That. I'm sure the Porsches are gone, but we'll definitely be taking that guy. There's a Charger too. Heck yeah, those are the two I wanted. check out East Coast Diecast. I will put the link in the description down below to check him out. He's a great channel. And yeah, like it's nice to have another local who collects on YouTube. So with that being said, here's what I'm grabbing. I got some of the Dom's uh, Fast and Furious set. Looks like everything's here except the Lycan. They got exotic Envy. They got it. So far, it looks like that's going to be it, but two M2 chases. And with that being said, I will see you at the next stop. So we're at the, um, we're at one of two dollar stores here. Let's see what we can find. Looks like, that's not the super I was going to say. That super was just sitting there. That would have been crazy, but it looks like these guys didn't get AK, so they got to get a sip of stuff I just bought at a Walmart down. Yeah, but I'd say they didn't get A-case. They got, yeah, they got Q-case. Because some of these Walmart, I mean, not Walmart, some of these dollar stores were getting Q-cases and then some of them were getting, um, some of them were getting A-cases. Sorry, I was having a brain fart, but it looks like there's nothing here. I will see you at the next stop. So we're at an out-of-town superstore. I actually met a few really nice people here, and um, at the Walmart that is, including East Coast Diecast and another guy as well. But let's see what we have here. Looks like we have ourselves a K case. Very cool. Okay, I'm sure that it's already gone through. I was talking to a guy who said that they were on this case. It'd be nice to see if we back home were on this case, but. We're still on C case back home. Okay. Well, he was saying there was a bin here too, so we could do. Okay, nothing here, and we're gonna go around the other side. Supposedly there's a bin. Okay, so here we are at the bin. Last time I was here, they had like three or four of these. That was a long time ago. I don't think I even recorded it, but it looks like it's just all like old stuff that's torn up and that's all right. Oh, we got a Pajero does Do we look like we have a Pajero? Yeah, that's a really good. All right, with that being said, let's check the last dollar store. So I'm actually in my university room, my dorm room right now, recording this. I don't do this very often because I just don't have a tripod. I don't bring my setup up here, which I, I've considered doing, but I'm gonna make this nice and quick. I just got back from meeting somebody for a quick Facebook Marketplace deal, and I got these guys. And two. 
So for 50 bucks Canadian for the pair, which I don't know, that's roughly right around 35, 40 dollars US. That is a good deal on those two. That alone, I know what that's worth. If you guys know, then you know. I don't do it for that reason, but I do collect these cars and the chances of finding a deal like that ever again on these two cars in particular is very slim to none. So at that price, I couldn't say no on that deal. And with that being said, now let's get back to the hunt. Okay, back at Giant Tiger, I wasn't expecting anything. I was just kind of here to look around to see what was here, but they got the vintage racing set in from a few months ago with the uh, supposed Camaro chase. I don't know, but I did see the Porsche. That's a nice one. For five bucks, I'm gonna be really careful here, but I did want that and I wanted the Mira. Doesn't appear like there is a Camaro here. 300 SLs in this, but just, I gotta be really careful of what I spend on. I'd say it looks like probably two cases. I do gotta be impressed. I gotta say, I am impressed with this set. These are all metal body, metal base. But, yeah, it looks like that's gonna do it for here. Um, I was at Walmart as well. I did find the uh, Carney Asada treasure hunt. I talked to another collector and he had mentioned about finding the Trans Am Super. So you win some, you lose some. We got a small win today with a treasure hunt. Um, Boulevard Mix 5 from last year hit here again. And we got these guys. So you know what? I take that as a small win. Not as big of a win as the Trans Am, but hey. Maybe there's still time, maybe I find one. And with that being said, I'll see you at the next step. Well, that was an awesome first peg hunt back in my university town. Not only have I never found more than one M2 chase at a stop, and technically, yes, like I said, I, did, I walked up on uh, East Coast Diecast finding this one, and... So, and you could hear him earlier in the video, we were trying, we were talking, I tried to start the conversation, and... And then we continued to talk a bit off camera. I wanted to turn the camera off as we were talking. And and I asked him, hey, any luck with anything? And he said he had found this. I couldn't tell which one it was. So I asked him, which one did you find? So he handed it over. And I kind of, and I made a joking remark I'm, because I've seen people like grab stuff and run away, grab stuff from other collectors and run away. So I jokingly said like, don't worry. I'm not gonna run away with it. I'll give it right back. And he's like, oh no, you can keep it. Which, that threw me so off guard, cause that has never happened before. Like, most of the collectors in my hometown probably would have hissed at me <laughs> if I had tried to ask which one they found. But, obviously that's a joke, but they wouldn't have they wouldn't have gave it over to me that's for dang sure that, so huge shout out to east coast diecast for giving me not only that one but he also went over and grabbed that one which is the uh, bronco one of 750 this one's actually pretty nice it kind of looks like the og simpson bronco but with all due respect again massive shout out to east coast diecast the link to his channel will be in the description below. Please go check him out. He's He hunts in the area, so it's nice to have another YouTuber you can check out to see what's it, what we're finding in our area. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Share the video with your friends, family, cats, dogs, squirrels. Please share the video, whoever, it doesn't matter. Just share the video. I'd be forever grateful. And happy hunting, and stay safe. Mm -hmm.